Okay, some of you guys have seen this before, it's more for the benefit of the, um, some of the newer uh, trainers we've got here. But we're just going to do a greater thumb, it's, you don't see it on any of your charts, but thumbs ideally, you know, if they're too bad we uh, try to sit them out in front of the rest of them. But it's pretty important to, to get that uh, for us guys, uh, you know, probably Paint up a beer. No, paint up. It's only a pint. All right. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, just just clench it so you're not sticking up in the air. It's one of the things we don't want to do, and you see it quite often. When we go to when they go to mark, the ball hits here in cow paddocks. You know, they're they're very muddy at times, as we all know. The ball gets very heavy. So when it hits a thumb, it bends it back and sore. Now that could have happened on the field, or it could be could have happened a few weeks ago and we're trying to protect it. But we don't want it to go any further back. So we're we'll just bringing that a little bit forward so it gets a little bit like we do with the shoulder. We just demonstrated by Josh a little while ago. One that I, I like using and our trainers like using is just a piece of this, just a little bit over, which we drag down in a moment, a little bit over the joint, and then you pull it down. Okay, so what you've done is you've, you've just wrapped all that in can you just, just pull that up? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's it's restricted from pulling up, so pretty well, that's it. This is a smaller sum than the uh, yeah. football. It should be used 1.25. <laughs> no, I'm joking. All right, so we can obviously put a nick in it and you can wrap it around. So that'll that's going to hold it all nice and tight. Okay? You don't need too much. The other thing that this does, it doesn't make it big and bulky and you know, out here somewhere in the strap, it's just a nice simple little strap. 1.25, we, we didn't have any of it. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We did. We did. We Makes it 1.25. Oh, there we are. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that, that knuckle free. So we're just going to go a little bit over, not tight, just enough to wipe it in. And, and remember, keep asking, especially for you, you newer trainers, keep asking, make sure you're not doing it too tight. Why don't you shoot us on? Okay, then we can peel that back, and that can all wrap in, so it's not going to pull out, that's going to actually lock it in when we go around with a little bit of two point five stretch. Okay, so that's, that's basically it. You can do another little one, just depending on the weather, And do another little one just to lock it all in if you wish. Okay. Now that's pretty well locked, lock that thumb in. Again, a lot will start with that and pull up. I like to pull down. I like to do that and pull it down. You don't need much more than that. With here, I didn't pull this down. May have to trim it. I won't use this with one hand, so I can touch it right. It'd be embarrassing if you see my hand or not touch it. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so that's that's like then you can do a bit of one point two five around there to like out of that deal. Yeah. Yeah. Again, out in the field, may uh, get a little bit of a twinge of the thumb. As long as not dislocated, no structural damage, that sort of thing. Uh, players, as we know, they're usually short uh, uh, short fall in in the hills. Um, so they need them to play. They're prepared to play. At least you can protect them. I usually like a plastic one, but we haven't got it today. But that just goes simply over and locks it in. It just makes a split. Again, okay. all we need is. Can you explain what you use? Uh, sorry. What do you use to make it? Oh, I've used the uh, uh, stool. The, the uh, you. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's all I use. So you can get plastic one, you can get those. Just cut it through the middle, open it up a bit. Uh, obviously in the wet weather they don't last as long, but they will last a, a, you know, a game. So Ben throws the sheep in and kind of water and mould it to the first hand. Okay, there again is, that's just plenty of the thumb. Alright? So again, you're only going to protect them if you need a little bit more. And, and obviously, as, as we all know, you do ask, is that tight enough, is that good enough, whatever the gap may be. But yeah, right, so you can pull it down. I'm just going to pull it down a little. Just try over demonstrate. You can pull that wherever you, you want. You can pull it really tight on that part because that's not affecting any of the thumb. So how does that feel? Yeah. Yeah, that's restricted, all right? So, Again, that's another variation. So thumbs, there's, there's, as per anything, there's 99 variations, you know, it's, it's like Heinz, uh, that can be 57. It's fast. There is variations. And be creative, what it's all about is being creative. Uh, during training, I'm creative, I like to, uh, to um, invent a few different things. But there was one, one of our players last year came out and said, look, my wrist is really Kelly, top key player. Couldn't do without him. He wanted to play, but his wrist, he said, you know, he just, he just couldn't, he couldn't be able to mark the ball. He said, but I don't want this junk where I'll strap up everything. So what I did is, uh, as they were saying, as the boys have said here, a bit of a easy spray. Spray the palm. I just simply put a piece of this. This is going to be overly, overly extended piece of that, so imagine the spray has gone here, let it dry obviously, become sticky, and then it's to wherever, so wherever it feels comfortable, uh, hold it, how did that feel, bend that back, no pain, okay, so you got rid of the pain, so that's all it needs, with a couple of lock off, couple of anchors, or a anchor, around, that's pretty well all you need, that'll stop that wrist from from going back, and as I say, that's that's stuff with glue or with adhesive. So if you put it wherever, it's going to be in the comfort zone for all. So that's that's one of those. Yeah, one point two five. Okay, just going to do one. That that figure eight for anyone. Think it's that one you want? Yeah. yeah. Okay, this. Thank you. Okay, this is one point two five, obviously. Finger, it might be a joint, it might be a dislocation at some stage. All it is, and we we'll just do that little, little one here, it's just to cross over, just to protect that joint. You'll we'll do this joint here, so all it is is cross straight over, wrap it around, come to the second one, cross over, and you see what that's done? That just created a figure of eight around that joint. Um, and as we said before, when you put it on, say, oh, it's, it's a little bit tight, give it a few minutes in these paddocks and, and um, yeah, it won't be. If you need again, you can go over it once more, but I've only had to, had to do that once or twice. Then, so that's like the joint in, but it's all, always best to play safe, some won't like it, but you do your buddy system. You, know, you, you can take them. I'll leave that crease there just so you can yeah. right, this, this is not accidental, perhaps. Okay? So, again, that's locked that in. That, that thing is protected. That one's going to even double protect it. So they're, they're two good joints. 